Hi guys, it's Lily. Today I'm just gonna do a quick one of my favorite looks so I can do a room tour video later. Um, first, please excuse my nails and this weird background. I'm trying to get more natural light in my room, which is also why I look so shiny. So um, let's just recap on what I've already done. So I've already done the ponds, moisturizing for extra dry skin, and then the turmeric oil from Fourth or face milk from Fourth Ray Beauty. And then I used an illuminating primer from Camila and Strobe. Um, I really like this. There's a plastic I can't get off, so it's like crunchy. I kind of like the sound though, but I really like this and it's vegan. So I'm really happy with this product. I'll probably purchase this again, but I believe someone gave it to me. So, um... I'm going to start with priming my eyelids. I need to get more of this. I can tell I'm almost out. There's not a lot of product coming off. Okay, then I'm gonna do my under eyes. And I also really um, have been wanting to do the curly girl method. If you know what that is, it's like getting rid of any damage that you've done to your hair or any of the like chemicals that are in your hair wash, like silicones out basically. And it makes your hair lighter and fluffier and curlier and hopefully not as frizzy. I really want to go on that venture, but uh, it's kind of confusing. I'm like looking into it a lot and I wish there was just a list of like do not and do this every day, but it's kind of like just random. Like I wish it would just be like, this is what you need to buy, you know, um, but it's fine. So then I'm going to go in my under eyes with the Sephora. I know I've mentioned this that I won't be repurchasing from Sephora but I do have a haul coming in and this is my last purchase from them. That wasn't clear in my last video. Um, so this by the way is my third video so I want to learn how to do what's it called? The pictures in the beginning of the video I cannot think of what it's called. Oh, like clickbait kind of tab something I don't know I don't know I'm looking really shiny which is fine I don't want to be completely matte the weather here is like 70 but it's raining so it's kind of gross not that I was really going out anyway I've been watching Legacies on Netflix and it's really good. Um, it's really interesting. It's like this girl and she likes this boy and he's supernatural but they don't know how. And then they find out how but then like he doesn't remember and the like professor of their school doesn't remember but only this one girl does that likes the boy and she decides not to tell him. Um, because like his mom also died and that's how they found out so she basically hides it from him <laughs> and it's just crazy but it's really good so if you're bored on quarantine like me it's a good series to binge so next I'm gonna go on with concealer I just use the light ivory elf foundation I want to use their like acne control one just to see how thick it really is but now I'm using the um, Tarte Shape Table. I just caught it. Oh my god. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> that was such a lucky catch. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to fast forward you guys through this part. I'm going to blend this all in and then I will be right back. Okay, so next I'm going to do brows. This is the Kat Von D Medium Brown. I really love the packaging and I like the mirror. I don't really like that this is like shimmery. I think that's weird for your brows, but um, I'm out of like what I normally use for my brows. This is a little darker, but I'm going to use it, see how it goes. I've only used this like once. It looks brand new. So I'm going to go ahead and use this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the brow... The brows are on and oh I'm not a huge fan I just think they look like weird caterpillars I, they're just like filled in blocks of color and I kind of like it to look a little more natural and closer to my new hair shade so that's really my fault I need to get with my hair and get new products um because I use the elf as well to kind of fill it in because I was using that and I was like this looks so bad but um I just need to get new brow stuff that's completely on me but then I'm gonna go in with the benefit I always do this one I want to get a clear one I was using the elf one but I feel like their applicator is like not realistic at all because it's so big here I'll show you it's like I guess that's good for taking a product off, I would say. Yeah. It actually helped a little bit. I feel like they look lighter and kind of better. Um, let's just go in with some eyeshadow. So this is Frog from ColourPop. I love this so much. It's beautiful here. It's like a peachy, pinky color. It's a super shock. Just do a little bit of this. Well, I do this all over the eyelid. This was like my quick everyday before school kind of. Thing. well when I did my makeup for school which was very rare but I always wanted to have my makeup done for work because I was a host so um yeah I also want to mention the Kat Von D eyebrow thing was literally just eyeshadow it's literally just brown eyeshadow so I feel really jibbed but it's whatever I should have known better Now I'm just taking my Nomad contour. In the crease. When I bought it, I was like, oh yes, like finally, like I was really getting into brows. And I just wish my brow game was better, like forever. But my brows are working on growing back right now, so I can't rush it and I just have to be patient. Because that's really the problem. Is that they're a little crazy. Um, so now this is Nomad in the shade Manly Beach. And I'm just going to do this all over. Just really lightly. I don't want anything kind of crazy. <sighs> okay, maybe not. Maybe we'll go thick. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm just doing a room tour today, so that's it. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Well, it's already like almost four, so you know, I've made breakfast, did all that, sent my boyfriend off to work. Um, because he's a pharmacist tech, so he still has to go in, which I appreciate that he's important, but I still feel like that puts our family at risk. You know, especially because he's just staying at my house. But then my mom is also essential. I mean, I don't think her job's really essential, but the government says it is, so whatever. She programs the modems for car washes. And... 
I guess like car washes are considered maintenance. So it's fine, I understand. So then I'm gonna go in with Crazy Little Wing by ColourPop. This is their ultra glossy lip. I love the formula. The only thing I'm not a fan of is the applicator. I've seen so many reviews and videos and they're just like everywhere. And I have other ones that, I'm sorry, the hairs, like the strands of the brush are like everywhere. And I have some that are kind of like that. But this one's new. <laughs> so I haven't ruined it yet. <laughs> Vigorously shoving it in there. But I really like this. I love the packaging. So simple. I just am not a fan of the applicator. So this is my normal to-go look. Except blush and mascara. Yeah. That was close. You thought we were done. So I'm using the space case. It's not you. It's not me. It's my sign. With this. Um. Farrah 160 F brush. This is my go-to blush brush. Blush brush. And I feel like I look pretty um, natural, I want to say. I don't look crazy or anything. So that's good. We did highlight. Let's go do mascara. So I'm going to do my apply my mascara and then I will end out the video. Okay guys, I'm back. I just did my mascara. I used Damn Girl Too Faced on the top lashes and then I used Benefit Bang on the bottom ones. I really think this is a great mascara for both lashes, but I just think this one is just too big to do the bottom personally. Um, it doesn't really make them look the way it does for the top lashes. Um, I also just want to say I really want to do something about the lighting in here. I know it's kind of awful. Um, but you'll see that in my room tour, so watch for my next video. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like. And um, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you soon.